Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to build a really cool modern titling sequence, uh, what I call a seam animation. So that's really where you have, I'm going to flip on my grid, a vertical seam, could be a horizontal seam, but in this case, a vertical seam. And we're going to animate two pieces of media across that seam for a cool title effect. It looks something like this. See how we start along that seam right there? We animate into position, and then when we reverse it, we finish off the effect. It collapses, it hides itself along that seam. So this is really simple to do in Camtasia. Let's learn how. First thing, we're going to delete uh, everything in this project. Start from scratch, get your playhead to the beginning. And I'm going to open up my favorites, and we're just going to grab some, some titling here. So. I've got this kind of cool stencil titling uh, that I like. And you can see I've got a, a text box that's uh, actually nice and wide. I've got big, bold text. Uh, in fact, let's take a look at the properties on this guy. So we got a font size of 260. And I've got uh, one of these cool Adobe fonts that I like. Stencil font. And it's got plenty of room and area. Other thing to note. This is left justified. So over here, left justified alignment of that text, all right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate this. And for this second piece, I'm gonna go ahead and right justify it, okay? And so this piece, actually what I'm gonna do, is start moving these things into position, so. Want to get that aligned with the center. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and grab this other piece and move it into position. Just snapping it to that center seam, right? And now I've just got to type in my text here. So we'll go ahead and start cam. Camped. Say Asia right here. Okay. And so the final piece of this is I'm just gonna add a little color decoration here. We'll make that first part of the text pop, all right? Okay, so two pieces of text, uh, left justified, right justified, and now um, we're almost ready to animate them into position. Uh, first things first, though, uh, what I'm going to do here, and this is a little trick that you can do in Camtasia 2020, so I'm actually going to uh, insert a track here. So I've got a track above this. I'm going to go ahead. In my favorites, I've got just a rectangle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to first copy, Control c Control v that Asia right there. I'm going to grab this rectangle piece. I'm going to drag it down on this copy and I'm going to choose replace. And now I've got a shape that matches exactly the size of that text box, right? So I'm guaranteed if we back out that this thing covers the entire bounding box of that text field. And that's a function of replace media with callouts, right? So the, the shape is taking on the size dimensions of the thing it was replacing there. Uh, so that's kind of a neat little hack. So we're going to do the same thing with this other piece. Control C, Control V, come up, grab our shape, do a replace. Bam. Okay, from here, we're going to start doing track mats. All right, so we're going to go alpha mat, and we're going to go alpha mat. All right, and we're going to move out here to about uh, about the one second mark. And we're going to add an animation to both of our pieces of text, right? So I've got them both selected. I'm going to add an animation, two animations there. I want to make them both start at the very beginning of this. All right, so they're out there at the very beginning. Uh, now I'm going to select just one of these. And I'm going to zoom in here a little bit on our canvas just like this particular animation and at the beginning of that super keyframe 
we're going to move this guy to the right, and you can see it starts to disappear along that seam. So just shoving it into position here. And I've got it in good. I'm actually going to flip the grid off here so we can see. All right. Yep. And let's do the, the same thing over here to this other animation. All right, you see it's disappearing along that seam. So when we start out, nothing at all will be visible. All right, so now if I hit the play, you can see I've got that nice animation into position. And sort of the final two pieces of this is we're just going to go over and grab our restore animation. Let's drop a restore animation, snap it into position there. We'll make that guy a second long, just to match the, the timing there. Same thing goes for this other clip. Bring him out, snap him into position, second long. And now what should happen is this should collapse and on itself along that seam. Yep, so we've got this. So then your final piece of work is just to start cleaning things up and make this into a reusable chunk for yourself. So we're going to group these first two. We'll flip that mat off on the main timeline. So that's the first element. We're going to do the same thing for the second element. I'm going to group it, flip that mat off. I'm going to get these two positioned next to each other, right on top of each other. And I'm going to go ahead and group them. And then I would just add this to my library and reuse it over and over, or it's pretty simple to build up uh, from scratch every single time. So depending on your needs, this is a really cool technique. Um, you can't, you can do it. You can do uh, vertical seams. You can do horizontal seams, uh, just play around tons of creative options. So hope you guys enjoy this little tutorial about seam animation and modern titling in Camtasia 2020.